everyone so today we will start linear algebra so this is uh, the first lecture so it's lecture 1.0 introduction to linear algebra okay so i will start from uh, like what will be covering in this linear algebra uh, gate da course so basically there are two parts to it uh, so in linear algebra the first one uh, is obviously theory uh, there will be uh, detailed theory uh, then the second part is because it's a competitive exam we need to solve a lot of questions so i will be covering questions as well the questions will be mostly pyq now you may be asking that uh, like kda has been introduced recently so there are not much pyqs so see when i gave the gate date was appearing for the first time and uh, uh, we don't have any previous year question for gate dear so what i did is i took all the previous year question uh, uh, of linear algebra from other gate uh, papers like uh, cs is there then me mechanical electrical chemical there are so many branches in which we have maths and almost all uh, branch paper uh, has linear algebra as part of maths so i used to solve all the pyqs uh, of gate of other, other branch so i will be covering those uh, in this lecture series okay now uh, what are the major topics in linear algebra so see uh, linear algebra is uh, one of the most wide uh, branch of mathematics and it's one of the most beautiful like it it is my personal favorite to be frank and it it has numerous application especially in machine learning data science uh, compression image compression video compression so many places we will see linear algebra getting applied all right and uh, if you see the core of ai is matrix ma matrix multiplication or matrix vector multiplication so it revolves around linear algebra uh, but in gate da we have uh, uh, limited topics uh, not uh, everything so i have divided into majorly seven to eight topics okay so i will just mention all of them uh, which uh, and these topic will cover everything in gate so it is according to the gate syllabus only so don't worry about that it will cover everything in the first topic uh, or first lecture it's uh, vector intro so i will be giving introduction to vector uh very starting from basics like beginner friendly so no uh, i am not assuming anything in advance from any any one of you if you know that's good in vector intro the topics will be uh, vector addition is there okay uh, second is uh, scalar multiplication vector scalar multiplication okay basis vectors are there basis what are basis vector okay and uh, i think couple of more basic one all right so this is the uh, beginning the second uh, topic uh, will cover uh, mostly linear transformation linear transformation this is this is very important guys like this is the core of linear algebra i mean uh, and this is very interesting also uh, it will also cover what is uh, linear dependence, linear dependence, uh, uh, independence, linear independence. All right. And I think few more, but yeah. Mostly it uh, the topic will revolve around this. The third one is, uh, uh, th in, in the third topic is uh, about matrices what are matrices like see we have uh, whenever matrix uh, we say matrix this figure comes to our mind something like that okay but it is very important to know is it's not just a 2d representation of number if you think matrix is just a 
टू डी थ्री डी और लाइक सम रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ नंबर देन यू आर रॉन्ग देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन हिडन इन दिस टू बाई टू मेट्रिक्स लाइक वट इट इज डूइंग and you will be seeing it in uh, what is linear transformation what is basis vector and all so there are a lot of information like i can even tell what what this a c alone do so if i have a, if i have some vector x comma y so this this it's not just about doing multiplication and addition it is doing something to this vector and that you will see in linear transformation and uh, matrices okay uh, then in this we will also cover what is determinant and when i say i am covering i just uh, don't want you to cram the uh, formulas i just want uh, to cover the details uh, the theory like what it is doing uh, uh, at the very fundamental level uh, what is rank what is a rank of matrix it's just not a number guys it's uh, it it encodes a lot of information about uh, matrix uh, linear transformation rank uh then uh, for uh, i will be cover i will also be covering different type of matrix matrices okay there are some special matrices okay there are some special matrices which are widely used so that's why we have uh, uh, unique names for them like uh, one most commonly uses orthogonal matrix this is very important matrix uh, one is uh, uh, idempotent matrix okay so there are couple of matrix because they are uh, widely used and they have some special properties so that's why they have special names so i will be covering different matrices and not just matrices uh, but their properties as well their properties and see this this property part uh, is very important for competitive exam because if if you know few properties of orthogonal matrix then it will be very easy for you uh, to solve certain types of problems so from exam point of view these different matrices and their properties is important and you don't need to cram them uh, we will understand it uh, the fourth topic is uh, again very important i think this is one of the most important and sometimes uh, students make a lot of mistakes and confusion in this vector spaces and subspaces in uh, like uh, we have a uh, uh, column space what is column space what is null space okay so like this so vector space and subspace i think this is important topic then the fifth one is uh, linear system of equations so this is also important because one question will always be there if if we if you mention linear algebra anywhere in any exam i i can bet on it like one question will be there in linear system of equation because uh, it linear algebra uh, helps a lot uh, in solving linear system of equations okay within this uh, there are multiple ways of solving it one popular way is gauss elimination and it's i i won't just give you the method but i will give you a very nitty gritty detail like what is happening behind the scene when when we are you know multiplying one row with a scalar and adding or subtracting with another row like we we try to create an upper triangular matrix right uh in gauss elimination method so why we do so and what happens uh, when we convert uh, into uh, upper triangular matrix what is going behind the scene i will give you a good explanation about that as well uh gauss elimination method uh the second is its uh, extension of gauss elimination which is gauss jordan method it's an extension of gauss elimination only okay and when i say see you don't need to just uh, whatever we have uh, you must have done in your 11 12th standard or in college you just you could have just crammed the method like okay do this do this and you will get a uh you you apply gauss elimination to solve the system of linear equation but i am going to tell you like what is happening behind the scene and because there's something very interesting and uh, uh, very intuitive happening in behind the scenes okay sixth this is the most important eigen value eigen values and eigen vector this is my personal favorite topic so 
this this has a lot of application eigenvalues and eigenvectors in different domains in ml okay you will see this uh, having application in quantum physics you will see it is having uh, application in uh, uh, this uh, uh, what do you say aviation and all like how planes uh, uh, I mean, aerodynamics, aviation, a lot of, uh, I would say, a lot of uh, application in physics as well. Uh, right. So, th this is very important topic. And it's very interesting as well. It's very simple, by the way. Like, uh, its name is uh, looks sometimes scary, but it's pretty simple topic. And a lot of question, uh, beautiful questions uh, arise from this topic. Uh, then the seventh one is uh, matrix decomposition. decomposition okay so basically it's like uh, uh, we decompose a matrix into multiple matrix uh, matrices so if you have a matrix a you decompose it into multiple matrix let's say one of the matri uh, decomposition we are going to study is lu where l is lower triangle matrix and u is upper triangle okay uh, so this is uh, lu decomposition is there and one interesting decomposition gate has added is svd singular value decomposition so like uh, i was amazed by this because this is uh, a very important decomposition in data science and machine learning it has a lot of application one of the application i even had a project uh, on svd like when i was in college so in in that uh, uh, i compressed an image okay compressed an image rgb image using singular value decomposition so you can see see linear algebra has so many uh, you know applications so i compress the image uh, maintaining its uh, quality i was able to compress up to 70 to 80 percent 80 percent maintaining the quality uh, okay so uh, this is in uh, metric decomposition so svd is is there uh, it's very interesting topic and the last is uh, in last i will be covering some miscellaneous topics uh, okay uh, which are mentioned in the syllabus so whatever mentioned in the syllabus has been already covered in all these seven topics whatever left is in miscellaneous topics uh, for example uh, one is uh, the quadratic form quadratic form i think it's not that important topic i don't find uh, much questions on this as well uh, i feel that other topics are more important but we will be covering this because it is in the syllabus okay so everything is covered all these topics i will be covering i will be making multiple videos on these topics all right and not just topics i will be uh, covering a lot of questions as well previous year uh, gate questions all right uh then coming to next part so resources what all resources are there for linear algebra okay first is obviously my lectures i will be covering all the topics which are there in gate da and these topics are also helpful if you are a machine learning engineer okay if if uh, you are uh, not uh, giving gate but these topics are very important for a machine learning engineer as well okay the second one is uh, uh, i will be covering uh, a lot of pyq but you can also refer to the pyq of linear algebra other branch papers all right other gate papers third one is the, a book which i personally bought for this exam is introduction to linear algebra uh, i bought the sixth edition i think that is the latest edition but you can refer to the fifth or fourth edition as well by gilbert strang and by the way you will get a, a, a free pdf online as well so you don't need to buy it i think uh, when I bought uh, the sixth edition, I think it's uh, 2000 INR. If I remember correctly, I bought it last year. Uh, it's pretty expensive, so I would say actually I I am I I like reading books, so I bought it. But yeah, you can refer to the PDF. Fifth edition will also be. 
and the last is bro uh, guys like there is a channel i think most of you already uh, know that channel it's called three blue one brown so you know, that guy uh, i think his name is grand sanderson so he made a uh, lecture series on la uh, linear algebra i think it's called essence of linear algebra so i would highly recommend watching his uh, series i think it's somewhere around 12 videos 12 to 15 videos i think it will give you a very visual interpretation visual interpretation of linear algebra and i think it's very important i will be covering in the lecture as well but yeah because he has done a great job so you can refer to, uh, to that as well uh all right okay so this is all so if you find these videos helpful so do subscribe my channel and share with your friends share with anyone who is appearing for gate any branch because linear algebra is covered in most of the gate exams which has maths in it and share with any machine learning engineers all right okay then see you next time